What is going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Today in this video we're going to talk about this DIY solar shed. You guys know I built this. I put all the panels up on it in a couple previous videos. All I got to do is some painting around the front here. I'm going to do all the uh, beams and the poles white. I got to do a railing on the front face to make it look all nice and then I'm going to uh, I don't know if I'm going to do some vinyl siding or if I'm just going to paint like the side of this thing I really don't know probably gonna do some vinyl at some point but I'll probably paint it just for the time being probably the same color as my house I think that's probably the best way to do it but um anyways this video is about solar stuff right I actually told you guys in the last video I was gonna be focusing on tying in these panels and I just ordered the uh, cable glands I think they're called they're like roof boots to uh, basically put the wires into and then it can go through the shed and I'm going to end up having two other ones coming out on the back left corner over there so I can just run them down into the ground and over to the trailer for the time being until we actually do end up moving the stuff out of this trailer now I think I've decided to move the inverters and the batteries into the house because fighting the winter time really does suck inside this trailer let's get into that in just a second but just before we do that let's hear a word from today's video sponsor crypto miner bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs founded in 2018 this company specializes in top quality asic miners from brands like bitmain gold shell and many others whether you're a newbie or a pro they offer competitive prices fast shipping and easy payment options worldwide pay with bank transfer bitcoin or even other cryptocurrencies no cash needed the prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. Okay, so as you might know from the last video I actually posted out here, this cabinet's open to keep it nice and warm and toasty because these batteries have a cold weather shutoff. And it was a pain in the ass to do that out here when there was like, you know, 16 inches of snow and it's like covering the door and dealing with all that. And unfortunately, I didn't record any of it just because, again, snow, recording, pain in the ass, right? Uh, but now that it's warming up a bit and I can actually have it be pretty warm in here consistently. It's 31 C in here. How hot is that in Fahrenheit? 87 degrees Fahrenheit so it is fairly warm in here now and you know what I actually don't even have a um, thermometer in here anymore because I stole it out of it but it should be fairly warm back here as well because I have a decent amount of stuff in here which is uh, the EDG 1M I have up and running I had the jazz miners running oh god yeah it's hot as shit in here because I don't have any exhaust fans on but I gotta take this down right now actually because this guy is not necessary anymore. I just thumbtacked it all the way around and stuck it behind the PDUs, kind of keep it nice and uh, tight to keep the heat in that section over there. But again, I don't need to do this anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna get this down. I actually need two hands for it. So we're gonna pull this down. We're gonna get rid of this door. And then, um, yeah, I really do think I am gonna start moving everything just into the basement, not all the ASICs and stuff. The ASICs are gonna stay out here. I'm just gonna feed everything from inside from the solar stuff back out here to run only asics in here and then it gives me a lot more real estate and not having all this solar stuff in here which is be pretty good you know because i do have an accumulation of shit downstairs and it's it's a pain in the ass and then also this system i need to get this out of here i think i'm going to take this and probably put it again into that shed over there as a isolated system to like charge lawn batteries and shit just things i need to charge in there right like all my cordless stuff i think it's probably a good idea so yeah this door needs to get out of here i actually almost junked this if you guys could see i have all these stickers here it's unfortunate that i put them all on this door but it's just in the way now and uh yeah i gotta get this thing out i need two hands for this unfortunately but um this was sitting under the trailer for a while that's why it's all disgusting and dirty but uh yeah so i gotta get that back under there i'm gonna get that flag down and then let's kind of get a plan we'll go down to my basement and we'll uh you guys are gonna see the mess but we're gonna we're gonna figure out what the hell we're gonna do down there so let me just clean this up for a second okay door's gone blankets down now we can have our pass through access back out here which is great now i'm gonna apologize for rambling on in this video i'm kind of just getting my head together on this entire situation so when i built this trailer here this uh the electrical into it anyways you kind of see one of the conduit lines right here i kicked up just so we could see them they go up right there right that's where all the electrical goes through and then there is a line next to it that is the internet right um, obviously i still need that out here i'm still going to need all of the wires out here but i'm going to have to rewire things 
a bit differently. Now, if I move the solar stuff into the house, right, we're going to have to backfeed everything out here and disconnect the actual grid power that I used to have over here. As you can see, I got three of those uh, 30 amp plugs. Actually, I had 120 and I had two 30 amp plugs right here when I was running everything on grid before my electric weight went just completely through the roof. So now I'm paying about 30 cents per kilowatt hour and I am not mining like that. So what we're going to have to do again is backfeed everything into here. I'm going to have to take a box and like combine the wires inside to stretch them out or actually, you know what, these cables. You know what, these PDU cables are long enough, actually. I should be able to run that PDU cable over here and land it into one of the outlets here, which would be fantastic. And I could put a uh, power meter down in the basement next to the uh, 6000 XP. Shout out to Signature Solo, by the way. Those things are freaking fantastic, and I cannot wait to get the second one set up. All right, so I think that's going to be a very, very good idea. The only issue is getting things over from my panel to the spot where I need to put the 6000 XP inverters because they're going to be going in my mechanical room. And if you guys didn't know, these batteries, by the way, I have a perfect spot for them under my stairs. They have fire suppression built into them, and I actually do have a sprinkler system in my house, so I'm not really concerned with fire and stuff with these. These ones, car batteries, I ain't having these in my house. These ones can stay out in the shed. If it burns down, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, this one, this setup here, these EG4 LL batteries have fire suppression built in. They're freaking fantastic. So let's go in the house real quick, and I'll show you guys where I'm thinking to put this stuff. All right, still going through a uh, little bit of construction here, but this is where my panel is right here behind this uh, this wall here, right? And I need to get everything run over behind this wall, okay? So I'm going to have to back feed the wires that way. Again, that's all my shit. If you guys are still interested in GPUs, let me know. i got to start boxing these up, actually, and one of the next videos that is uh, on the list here. And actually, I got a bunch of things I need to do here. So this shroud I can't put on without taking off this heat sink. And unfortunately, the same for all these white GPUs, which I'll get into in another video. But this is a freaking mess, and I apologize, all right? It's embarrassing. But you guys can see right here, okay? This is where I had my grow tent, and everything was heating my house at one point. I had two lines going into the return duct. And man, this thing heated my house so fantastic. It was great, right? The thing went from right there all the way over to the end of that one right there, right? So I could barely get under my stairs. But my plan here is to put the batteries right here. Obviously, I got to clean all this shit up. And I want to get a, I'm going to put like some plywood on the wall here and get it all kind of looking nice. And then I'm going to get the two 6,000 XP's and the panel for all the solar stuff right there. So I could take those 10-2 wires that were going into the grow tent, those are 30 amp circuits, wire them into the 6000 XPs, backfeed it over to where my panel is. I'm gonna have to get a secondary panel where I could wire them together or I could just splice them together inside the actual sub panel and remove the breakers obviously, right? Because in the panel we'll have a breaker for the grow tent and then we'll have a breaker for the lines going outside so if i removed both breakers and just put those lines together feed right outside we'll be powering directly from the solar stuff um the you know what let me show you guys real quick out here right you guys can see the lines where they come in the house so this is going to be the only real tough thing that i gotta figure out so over here i mean it's really not tough but you guys can see right here so that wall that i have in my studio actually backs up to this. I sealed this window off completely and I actually ran these lines right through here. So these are the, the uh, actual power lines going through this inch and a half uh, pipe and then I got the one inch pipe here or three quarter inch pipe here with the uh, LB going through down here. Um, I have to get the solar stuff into the house, right? And I'm debating if I should get them to go through the same location or, or, I need to figure out drilling them through the side of my house and making it look good because I don't want to make it look like shit, right? This is my house and these lines won't stay here forever if I ever move, right? So my right now the lines actually run from back here from the pergola down along the side of the house. Actually, you can see a spot right here. Look at that. You can see a spot right there where I didn't bury it too deep because my sprinkler line, I didn't want to break into anything. So I just laid it right here on the ground 
and I just covered everything else. I actually flipped up all this grass and put it underneath all the way over to the fence and over. So I can actually basically divert these. My freaking dog. My dog has been digging. Son of a bitch. Anyways, I can divert these into the house, right? I'll probably end up going through, I don't know, maybe somewhere over here or over here with my sprinkler stuff. I just need to make it look good. So what do you guys think? Would this be a better spot? Maybe. Actually, you know what? F that. I'll go onto my deck. I'll do it under the deck. My fucking dog, man. I'm going to beat this thing. Look at this. Freaking holes everywhere. Let's hear an animal or something under there. That's funny. All right. So you can see the lines right there. I didn't even bury those yet. I actually have to get on my stomach and move all these rocks. I haven't done it yet because it started getting cold and I just didn't have time to do it. You know what? I can actually drill right up underneath there through the sill and get it into my mechanical room that way. That's actually a way better idea as a whole because I do already have a gas line for my grill that I actually installed. If you guys didn't know I'm a licensed plumber by trade, it includes gas piping and all that stuff. So I actually already drilled through that sill once. I could just do it again actually and that would work out fantastic. And then um, if I did that, so the only unfortunate part is uh, where are we? Let's see. Again, I would be behind this wall somewhere. I would be behind this wall. Yeah, so it would be probably, I think my deck starts over here. Yeah, I think my deck starts right there-ish. So that would work out perfect, actually. And then I could get the lines over here, get them into the inverters, and call it a day. What do you guys think? I think this is like the perfect spot, because I got my furnace there. Got my Navian over there, water heater, filtration system over here. I actually got to move this thing. It's a fucking mess. I got to clean that too. Um, this entire place needs an overhaul. So I'll put my toolbox over there on the left-hand side and then my solar stuff here with the batteries kind of tucked in that little indent there. And then all this other shit, we'll just have to go out to the, uh, out to the shed. I think that's a great idea actually. And then, uh, yeah, and then everything's down here. And that's freaking mint. The only other thing I need to do, right, I'll have to figure it out because I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, is get another 10-2 uh, cable, 240 volt, from the solar stuff over to my test bench. So that's a suck fest. I'm going to have to probably open up the ceiling. I didn't finish trimming it off anyways, so it's not a huge deal. But I got to, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to take a board or two down get a line over into this wall because you can see I have a 120 volt there that was actually for monitors that were on this wall so I'm probably going to put a couple of monitors back up there or at least one in the corner um, to kind of hide that so it doesn't look like shit and I'll probably extend this guy behind this bench at one point uh, but yeah the 240 volt I definitely need that for testing somewhere here on this bench and I didn't finish this little indent on purpose because I figured I was going to have to be doing a 240 volt either from over there or over here, but this is uh, this is the panel. Uh, let me move this out of the way. You can't really see too much, but this is my panel, right? There's no light in here right now. Uh, that's the sub panel right there. So that sub panel right behind this guy is right where I have all those wires going into from the other side. Again, that was uh, previously, you know, running my grow tent. But guys, let me know your thoughts on that. I think that's probably the best way to do it. I'll just come out from under my deck. And you know, the best part about having the solar stuff in here, I'll actually be able to use the power from my batteries to run my PC that's on the other side of the wall where I do streaming every single day. And I'll be able to run things like this. These little box miners that are over here just kind of heat in my basement because there's no heat down here. So during the winter time, it is super crucial to have free power in here instead of paying a $700 electric bill every single month to run stupid little units like that and one in my garage. In the next video regarding the solar stuff, this mess will all be cleaned. You guys won't see it anymore. So until then, you guys have a great day. Sorry for rambling on. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.